another scalp, this time resignation from Madeleine Carews, uh, Marlene Car Carews, I should say. She's just resigned from the ministry in the past few minutes. So we'll have that news conference for you live. This is in the wake of the ALP branch stacking scandal that, well, momentum has not gone away from this particular scandal. A big internal review set to happen. It could have major ramifications for what's happening in Victoria for various power bases down there and is sure to reverberate in Canberra as well. That's on top of the IBAC and police investigations as well. Let's go to our reporter, Gabriella Power, for more on this. So we've just heard that uh, Labor MP Marlene Carews has confirmed she stood down from a ministerial role. She is saying, though, she believes her name will be cleared. That's right, Tom, in breaking news, Labor MP Marlene Carews has resigned from Cabinet following these uh, branch stacking allegations. All three ex-ministers have denied their involvement in these branch stacking allegations. And yesterday, Premier Daniel Andrews was standing by Marlene Carews and Robin Scott, insisting that they were not involved in any wrongdoing. But this morning, the Age obtained a uh, released uh, audio that they had obtained of Carews allegedly uh, encouraging her parliamentary staff members to get involved in branch stacking stacking activities. Let's take a listen. Because he's got two and a half thousand of our members that he has to go through. Yeah. And we'll just, they drop one, we'll put in ten. Maybe, Adam, can I suggest then, um, we have a checklist for every, one. It, we've, and it, we've got, we're one big operation, but all our little operations yeah. have a checklist. I think what you need to do in the short term very quickly, my office has done this already and they're doing it as part of renewals. The Age also reports that Carew's allegedly made jokes about the left faction of the party being like the Ku Klux Klan. Now, we have received a statement from Marlene Carew's about her resignation. I'll read it to you. This morning, I notified the Premier that I will stand aside from my ministerial responsibilities and notified the Governor of the resignation of my commission. It has been an enormous honour to serve the Victorian people across a number of portfolios, including suburban development, local government and consumer affairs, gaming and liquor regulation. I no longer want these matters to be a distraction to the government. They have placed enormous pressure on my family and caused them great distress. I look forward to the opportunity to clear my name and I'm confident the investigative process will do so. I note that these matters do not relate to any allegations of criminality or corruption. I will continue to serve my electorate, which remains the greatest honour of my life. Now, Tom, this, of course, comes after Robin Scott resigned yesterday and Adam Somniak was sacked uh, yesterday morning by Premier Daniel Andrews. We are standing by to hear from him. As you can see, there's a crowd of journalists and camera operators, but all we've been waiting for him for some time now and we will of course bring you that uh, com press conference as soon as he gets here.